Hi everyone, today I'll show you how to use the boomerang loop effect. To install the macro, simply run the .drfx file and confirm the installation. You'll find the effect in the Effects tab, Toolbox, Effects, PixFix, double-click or drag boomerang loop onto your clip. All the effect controls are in the inspector panel. Start frame defines the frame where the loop begins. Length sets how many frames the loop will play back and forth. Speed controls how fast the loop cycles. If you want a longer loop, it's better to use a lower speed. Any property can be animated by clicking the diamond icon. Let's animate the start frame. Click the keyframe icon, move a few frames forward and increase the value while watching the preview. This way you can switch to different sections of the video. You can repeat this as many times as you want, but keep in mind, the more animation you add, the heavier it gets. That's why I recommend turning on caching. Playback, render cache, user or smart, Play the video once, and when the red bar turns blue, you'll be able to preview it in real time. For extra dynamics, you can enable dynamic zoom. This creates a smooth zoom in or out effect. Amount controls the zoom strength. Pivot sets the anchor point. You can also choose the direction, in or out. At the top, you'll find the frame interpolation settings. Nearest, no interpolation. Blend, smoothly blends frames. Flow, generates in between frames. Flow is recommended if the motion doesn't look smooth enough, especially when the length is just one to two frames. But remember, flow is GPU intensive, so make sure caching is enabled. You may also notice that standard transform, stabilization, or cropping tools won't work directly with this effect. To fix this, simply use a compound clip before or after applying the effect. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoy using Boomerang Loop in your projects. Oh,